There's still a lot of work to do, but Colorado is slowly but surely moving forward and rebounding from a difficult 2020. Tonight, we're taking a special look at the wedding industry. It's usually booming this time of year. Many of the professionals, as well as hopeful brides and grooms, thrown for a loop this season, many not knowing if they could go ahead with their special days. Look, look at all the leaves. These days, oh, wedding yeah. photographer Cassidy Osborne is loading up her film and spending extra time with her family. Oh, cute. One, two, three, jump. I used to do like 25 weddings a year, but I joke that like as I add children, I take away weddings. <laughs> Aiden and Thea, wrap your arms around each other. So we have two boys and then we have one upstairs sleeping. Okay. Give me a laugh, give me a silly face. She does about 15 weddings a season and had bought $4,000 worth of film for 2020. This time of year, she'd usually spend a lot of time taking pictures on the weekends and editing during the week. But with the pandemic, things have slowed down. A lot of brides turned to elopements. A couple of her couples outright canceled. That was tough because although it's not industry standard to like give back money, we just felt like it was the right thing to do. And so we refunded a lot of money. $8,000 we refunded to people. Others, though, are rescheduling. They're looking ahead to 2021, including Caitlin Kennedy. Even if we wanted to cut it down to just wedding party and family, that we still might not even be able to have that. And so we just thought that we could just try it all again next year. She and her fiance live in Texas and scheduled a destination wedding in Vail with Cassidy as their photographer. We definitely say that we will never forget our engagement in our wedding season. It was truly unique. So that's we just try to find the positive and try not to get too overly stressed. Caitlin says her vendors were so accommodating, but some sadly won't be around next year. Unfortunately, some of my favorite vendors, like for our plates and napkins, they've gone out of business. So that was really hard and they I you kind of form connections with them. Okay, give me a ha, 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 ha. Cassidy says it is a tough time to be in the business of love. What's tricky is that a lot of weddings are being postponed, right? The income that I would have made in 2020 is going to be completed, but my portion of it to like work is going to be followed up through next year. But already with the governor's new order, some brides going back to their original 2020 summer dates Cassidy was also fortunate at the advice of her accountant to make her business incorporated late last year. So she's an employee of Cassidy Brook Photography. I'm an employee, so I yeah hope that I can get unemployment because we've definitely been paying into it. But she's frustrated, saying after two tries, she hasn't received any unemployment benefits. She'll keep working, though, to make the most out of a bad situation and will keep smiling behind the camera, ready to capture life's moments. Next year is going to be a whole different ball game, even though they may look a little different right now. And we know so many of you are still hurting after the COVID-19 pandemic as we make our way through it. And we want to hear from you. How are you getting through? What do you need help with? Let us know. Send us an email rebound at koaa.com.